the bank uh, put itself uh, in, uh, in the leading position to the contribution of, to the platform uh, working group of private sector. Uh, particularly, we have formed a small group where there is uh, Mr. Menitos, probably you know, Graham Dixie, Lauren Romke, and Marketa Yunasova, that together with the end resurgent from the ACO and Associates, they started preparing uh, actually not many of the products we just saw in terms of virtual briefing and interviews, but they went straight to creating a, a toolkit for contract farming. The same basically that I was, uh, uh, that was in the marketplace uh, yesterday, so some of you already know uh, many of the information about that. Uh, why a new toolkit actually? Uh, first of all, because uh, uh, there was no toolkit. So there was a lack of analytics uh, about it, and particularly because we had to analyze the, the dimension aspect. Uh, uh, in this, uh, again, uh, uh, I stress it now, and I will stress it at the end, when I will ask for your uh, contribution in more, uh, this is not intended clearly to be at all, and we would not like this to be a bank product. So although the leading team is nearly formed by one group of member staff, we are all asking, we are asking your contribution. There was already a virtual briefing in October, uh, now there is a draft, the draft can be circulated to any of you that want it, both in hard copy, even electronically if you want, so please uh, give us your contribution. Already we got a lot of contribution, but we want even more. So I'm actually advocating that everybody has an interest, uh, including the, 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 the FAO group working on contract funding and whoever to touch base, uh, and we are open even if needed uh, to, 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 to re -re reconsider the schedule of the process, although right now we are aiming for having the product ready for May. But now let's go back to this product. Uh, 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 the toolkit is aimed, uh, is targeting the project leader, so it's quite uh, a, a, an operational uh, uh, instrument to, to help any project leader that wants to, to, to work with contract funding at, uh, at ground level uh, to uh, conduct a critical evaluation uh, of uh, contract farming, both before, during, and after implementation of this contract farming. Uh, project or program that could be. There are three main objectives. The first is to provide guidance on which type of contract funding scheme to use and, and which is the better one to use under which circumstances. So basically a kind of best practice. The second is to uh, provide guidance on how to analyze inclusive corporate farming uh, uh, in order to identify those that have better chances of sustainability. And the third uh, element uh, is uh, how to conduct uh, a better uh, socio-economic and environmental evaluation of contract funding schemes, so to go more on the evaluation and also the analysis of those. Um, so we are aiming to have a framework about that. Uh, I want to, to say something that I have in my talking points uh, about what it covers. It covers, among other things, risks, business elements, a present and evaluation of the business model, socioeconomic analysis, measurement of inclusiveness, the factors that hinder contract farming, how to start and strengthen contract farming, recommendations for a project leader, case studies, impact of contract farming by country, and an alternative dispute to resolution. And by the way, the, this alternative dispute resolution is something that uh, the bank is, uh, is inviting and will welcome it to be something for the, for the work program for next year. Uh, beside this alternative dispute resolution, we are also uh, inviting to consider something like climate efficient agribusiness and regulatory and competition reform for agricultural input markets. All proposals that uh, later on Monica will explain uh, much better. Uh, Again, uh, the, 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 what I want to stress uh, is uh, two, the last two things. The first is that uh, as much as possible, being an operational tool uh, is uh, uh, full as much as we could uh, of the case studies. The case studies uh, that uh, I don't recall them by heart, but uh, consider are about nine crops, different crops. Some of them are fish crops, some are food crops. 
there is even uh, a jump into livestock with poultry and even milk. In, uh, in, in this case, we have not been so uh, Africa focused, although there is a lot of Africa, but there is still a lot of Asia. Uh, and again, uh, this can even uh, be increased if any of you is interested in considering a particular country, a particular crop, or whatever. Still, we are in advanced phase, but this doesn't mean that we cannot consider further advice on this. The second aspect that I want to, to stress is that, uh, again, the, our project leaders sometimes, uh, our, but like yours, and probably everybody that is uh, working on the field, has sometimes problem in uh, having contract farming, getting outside at the typical cash crop uh, type of scheme, and uh, uh, to, to make it, uh, uh, to sell also this type of products within the programs uh, to your manager. And this type of toolkit has also a kind of uh, insight into this, how, the, uh, how to show the sustainability, the effectiveness, and, uh, uh, and the utility of uh, having this type of contract funding be inserted within uh, whatever could be a larger type of program in rural development. Um, I will not speak about those for our proposal for next year. If there is any need, I can talk when Monica will talk about that. Thank you very much.